you know, understanding that, how do you guys balance the difference between submissive and aggressive? You know what I mean? So there's always a power dynamic in every relationship. And I talked about history before, right? Mm -hmm. If you understand the history of our culture, you'll understand how the power dynamic has put the black woman always at the bottom, right? There's always white supremacy, then everybody else. But then you got the patriarchy, so it's male supremacy, then everybody else. Mm -hmm. So if you're a black woman, you're at the bottom, bottom. So you have to understand where that quote unquote aggression, even though it's not aggression, because most black women have left to fend for themselves, mm -hmm. right? I still feel though, as the man, the, I am the leader of my household, right? right? But as the leader, that doesn't mean that I just tell everybody what to do. My first responsibility as the leader is to make sure everyone is okay, mm -hmm. right? So I have to be of service to Protection. my wife. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When you say things like that, I have to be of service to my wife, the trigger word for people is like, oh, he wants to serve his wife, he's a simp. Mm -hmm. And then you have all the detractors <laughs> who call you a simp because you, as a leader, want to serve your wife, right? Mm -hmm. Then as a woman, if she says, no, I want to serve my husband, mm -hmm. they tell her she's submissive right. and you're setting women back. Right. Mm -hmm. In our relationship, and it only works in ours because we've agreed to these power dynamics, I'm the man, I'm the head of the household, I right. lead. We both make a lot of money. Mm -hmm. I pay all the bills in the house. Subtle flex. Right, see, subtle flex, subtle flex. <laughs> but because I did write, I did make a post, I said, um, I realized the greatest flex I could ever have is when my wife is kept, but she keeps making money. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Mm. As the leader, when we both make money, I take care of the family, I take care of our wealth planning, I take care of our legacy building. Whatever money she make is hers. She can do whatever she wants to do with it. So is she really being submissive and being controlled? No, because she has the opportunity, if she wants to, to go somewhere else. But me being a leader and being in that position of power, giving her an opportunity to live in a life in a world with full autonomy, right. she don't have to. De she don't have to de depend on anybody else, not even me. Or desire anything and from somebody. So when she don't gotta live like that, and she can just do whatever she wants, but she still wants to be my wife. Mm -hmm. That makes me feel good. Yeah. I think people you know also saying? mistake submission with stifling. Mm. It doesn't mean that you have to be stifled in your relationship if you decide that you want to submit to your man. I will say. Mm. I submit to my husband because mm. why? He's proven time and time again that I can trust in his leadership, mm. that mm. he empowers me as a woman to do whatever it is I seek out to do. Yeah. Talk about it, baby. Talk about These it. These things yeah, make yeah. it easy Talk for me to be like, go ahead, baby. Mm. It's you. I'm, I'm here to just, you got the idea, how are we going to execute it? Mm -hmm. And that's usually how we work. DeVal's mind goes a yeah. million miles a minute, and yeah. he's always coming with a new idea, a new, a new approach, a right. new business. And I'm just like, cool, how are we going to make it happen? Yeah. It's easy to sit back and be like, yo, I can depend on this man because I know he's a yeah. man of his word yeah. and not only of his word, of his action. Yeah. And in moments when he and I are having a struggle where it's like, damn, you know, okay, how do you feel about this? If it's something that I don't care too much about, I just digress. I'm like, bro, it's on you. We tap yeah. into each other's strengths as well. Like we know when we have yeah. to kind of, yeah. you're better equipped to do that, Deval, you do it, okay? Yeah. You're better equipped to do it, you do it. And it's not like a gender role thing. Yeah, right. It's not like a, this is what husbands or wives it do. It just feels natural. It feels yeah. natural. My last, my last thing for me is really simple. Have you guys ever discussed or went over, or do you know each other's non-negotiables? Oh my, for us, I, that's, that's a difficult one because um, <laughs> we're big on grace. Yeah. We're big on grace and we're yeah, also big on not drawing that. lines in sins, because if there's anything that we talk about the most, is having empathy for each other. But it's still, it's still the thing where this, this is this non-negotiables isn't. It's, it's a triggering word, mm. but we've always. I'm not sure what you guys' religion or faith is, but me being a Christian, there was always a non-negotiable from day one, right? Mm -hmm. The forbidden fruit. Mm -hmm. You dig what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I think as relationships, and I'm in a relationship now, proud, and I think the thing that always gives me grace and knowing it's like, what is my partner's non-negotiable? Because if I tap into that apple and I bite into it, yeah, can I get away with it? But over time, it's like, that's gonna be a burden on my heart. But let me ask you a question. God presents non-negotiables, but he always allows latitude for forgiveness, mm -hmm. right? If God, the greatest creator of all, can find in his heart to forgive people, how can we as people say, there's nothing you can do that I can't forgive you for? Oh, you're talking to a person and I'll say this, there is nothing in life, including death, that's not forgivable. You see what I'm saying? Over time. Over time. It's going to take time. Now if, you, now, if you kill my mom, 
I'm not about to sit up here and be kumbaya oh, with you the next that. day. No. But you know over that. time, I realized that I have to find peace in, in the situation and say, you know what? Her time here is done. And I'm not saying that. And let me you know, mm. be very clear about that. But it, it takes people different times to grieve. And if you're going with this with this mole or this ulcer on your heart, just like, man, fuck the yeah. thing. That motherfucker got my motherfucking brother killed. Like, no, yeah. let's, let's relax. Now, if you have to go through that, you gotta give yourself some time and say, listen, okay, let's 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 get rid of this and let me find ways to move forward with that. Because if you can't operate off love if you're looking in search of revenge. I feel you. Mm-hmm. But that, but that's to me is why a non-negotiable for us, I feel like, or for me at least, doesn't exist. I need to understand why you made the choices, right? So if we can have a conversation and, and we can come to terms with, okay, you made this choice because of X, Y, Z. Can I empathize with that choice? Yes. If I can empathize with that choice, then let's discuss it and see if we can move past it. Mm-hmm. I feel like I can't sit up here on a pedestal and I don't feel like my wife can sit on any pedestal as well and look down on either one of us and say, if you do this, this is wrong. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Now, with that being said, I'm always going to make choices that's going to benefit the couple. Not to say it's wrong or not to say that it's over with, just to understand that if you do that, be prepared to face what it comes with. And I don't think a lot of men, because, I mean, listen, being in my position, bro, I've always had access. Oh, of course. You know what I'm saying? Of course, absolutely. And that that could be, that's a very broad thing. Of course. And like for me, I had to really kind of read back and say, bro, hold on, bro, you're kind of feeling yourself a little too much. Put yourself in her shoes. Mm. She say yes because that's who she is naturally, Mm. but what is it coming with? Right, absolutely. Does it come with you're doing something and when you say you're with this person, she'll approve you going with that person, but in the back of her mind, she's thinking every time you're with that person, this is what she really thinks. Right, I feel you. And it's not, that is not, um, it's too expensive. You know what yeah, I'm saying? It requires so much more energy. Yeah, to have things it does. In yeah. Space like that. I think my, I do have one like non-negotiable though. Go ahead. I told her I was like, if he had a child outside of our marriage mm-hmm. or our relationship. Yeah, she said she would. Wrap. She can live. Out. I could put that on tape. Yeah, but but listen, and I'll say this, and, and like we keeping it funky. I did that. Mm-hmm. I did that, and I'm not I'm not afraid of it. I'm not ashamed of it. I think it really exposed. The real in a situation, and granted, you know, people were hurt. I hurt people, Mm -hmm. and I was hurt. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the whole cliche thing is hurt people hurt hurt people. people. So in that phase of my life, I was so egotistical. Where it was like, but Cam, you can't shame yourself. No, 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 for no, no, making no. choices. No, 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 no. You know what I'm saying? It made me. It, I am who I am because of that situation. Absolutely, I'm at peace. And you, and you, you know, know what I'm saying? I look at, I look at both of my baby mothers and know that each child was made out of love, and they still have love mm-hmm. that they see every single day, whether I'm with their mother or not. You know what I'm saying? And as I grow into my own situation. I'm prepared for them to go in their own situation too. That's right. just a respect thing. You Absolutely. Feel me? I understand that in, in my time, it's like, bro, you don't got jurisdiction over there no more. You don't. Right. That, that's your jurisdiction is. is with your children. That's I, that, I, that, You know, who she right. talks to, who she deal with, bro, like, bro, I don't, I don't, it's, it's not bringing me peace. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I made that situation and coming from a person who did, I apologize more ways than one. And I still take every opportunity to say, man, listen, I was not healed. Mm-hmm. And it took me going through that to heal and say, like, listen, bro, Boog, you got to focus on Boog. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because you keep going and That's you, the key, you though, doing bro. certain things. What like, you just oh. said is the key. We, we talk about this all the time. The more I focus on myself, I became a better husband. Mm. The more she focused on Kadeen, she became a better wife. And then we made the choice to be better together, right? Yeah. The biggest thing is about choices. When people typically speak about the, the members of the opposite sex that they deal with, they don't realize that they keep dating the same type of person in different forms, right? right. <laughs> then they cast a wide net over everybody, right? My, one of my boys, they all these bitches is money hungry. Ah. Dude, <laughs> dude. You go to the same club right. and meet the same women at the same time at right. the same club, but then you say, oh, bitches, how about you try something different? Yeah. And it's the same thing for women. That's insane. You, you meet the same guys doing the same things, and then when they treat you or dog you out, you say, all oh, niggas ain't shit. That's not the case. The, the niggas, niggas you choose ain't, ain't shit. That's, that's the truth. And, and for us, yeah. we're able to speak 
the way we speak because I feel like I chose the right person for me. I could sit up here and say all of this stuff, and if I would have chose the wrong person, then I'd have been up here oh. talking about bitches ain't shit. Hello. So it really depends on who you choose and if you want to be married. I wanted to be married and I wanted to be monogamous. Mm -hmm. I tried the juggling shit. Mm -hmm. It didn't work. My mind was all over trying to chase and do all this other stuff. I couldn't focus on the things that were making me happy and at peace. So I was like, why am I doing this? Some people are good at that. Right. I got boys who can balance and are freaking great at what they do. It's a balance and being. And that's their, and that, yo, <laughs> but the thing is, they're great at that. That's the life they should live. Right. Because that makes them happy. As long as he or she is honest with all the people they're dealing with, Facts. that's just not my walk. That's I give not props her walk. to people you know who know, like, marriage is not for me. Yeah. Hell know? yeah. So you save a lot of people, a Hell lot of yeah. misery, as long as you're yeah. honest. Facts. And be like, you know, that's not something I aspire towards. And I feel Facts. like you have to aspire towards marriage and want that. For it to work, because if not, and you're relying on someone to come along and be like, ah, I don't really want to marry, Facts. but you, you would make me want to get married. Absolutely not. Yeah. Because then That's... it puts the whole, puts the onus on that person. Yeah. What if that person changes? Which, Which that they does will. Have. And marriage is a choice like veganism, right? Mm -hmm. You, like you, no one, you don't have to be married in life. Mm -hmm. People make it seem like, oh, if you don't get married, you fail. Correct. Yeah. Everybody in the Bible was not, everybody in the Quran or, or any great mm -hmm. book. That everybody wasn't married. Facts. So let's stop that. And then for people Facts. who are married, Facts. bro, stop looking down at people who ain't We're married. married right. And we people who ain't that. married, stop looking down at people who are married. married. Like, Facts. bro, whatever Facts. the your Cinderella shoe is built for you, That's Cinderella. It. Facts. That's not Facts. Cam shoe. That's not Kadeen shoe. That's not Deval shoe. Like them motherfuckers Facts. is they shoe. Like, mm -hmm. get the fuck. Mm -hmm. All right. I agree. <laughs> I see I see I, I hit, <laughs> but, but no, I know because seeing how you live your life, it takes a different type of person to live this and be like, why are people judging me for being who I am? Yeah. That's why you get so passionate about it. Mm -hmm. Because most people follow because conditioning is easy. Mm -hmm. It's easy for me to walk the line with everybody else, fall in line and just be accepted. Right. It's easy to do that. But is it making you happy to be yeah. accepted? No. Sometimes you just want to step out and do your own thing. But every time you step away from the crowd, you get judged. Yeah. And you just have to be willing to be judged and say, I'm going to do shit my way. And if you can find someone that you want to step aside from the crowd with, like I did, yeah, we we Man, laugh like and joke about it. Like we, it's a beautiful thing. It I'm on sand to the beach because my beach is better. Facts. You can keep my that beach is cheese. better. I I walk places and my <laughs> wife walk in. I'll be like, I'll be like, look, 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 niggas checking out yeah. my wife. You know what I'm saying? Then I walk in, I be like, that's mine. Hey, what Kodak say? That's my little shit. That's mine. You know what I'm saying? That's mine. That's mine.